YouTube. What's up with y'all, man? It's your boy SD Strictly Devante, man. We back with a whole other video. Y'all know I got this little Jeep shit digs, you feel me? I'm gonna put this new air intake in that bitch. So, <clears throat> it was a long night yesterday, so shit. Don't mind me if I'm talking a little bit quiet, but we had to take out all this shit right here. Take out that old air intake. <clears throat> That's the old air intake. That's how dirty it is. But today I'm supposed to be changing the air intake. I got a new mm -hmm. antenna. I got some interior lights that I'm supposed to be putting in there. <clears throat> and I think I got some some new headlights. Um with the oracle so i can change the colors through my phone and shit so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing uh i'm gonna take y'all with me throughout the process of installing this bitch but uh for now i'm gonna go ahead and get shit ready real quick and then i'll show y'all like the steps and shit all right y'all so let me get y'all ready so the air intake come with a heat shield to keep the heat from the engine to get into your air intake. Make sure it's only cool air in there, right? So you gotta put together this metal box. It's like a stale box that you put on. You just put some screws, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, and then you gotta put these screws in here to help, you know, sink into the Jeep, you feel me? So you get this heat shield, and I see this little screw right here, I don't even know. I think I'm gonna have to unscrew this and then sync that up right there. And then I'm gonna re-screw this back in there so that this don't move, cause you don't want this shit to move while you driving. Especially with these, these expressways in Chicago, bro. I'll be in this bitch shaking back and forth and shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do that real quick. So we find out with this screw that that's like an eight millimeter. And what you say, what you say about the radiator, bro? You gotta you watch it. Yeah, if you don't watch it, you go to the radiator and now we're gonna be doing the radiator. Holding it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Have to drop the radiator today. The, the only thing with this on. is that screw got a built-in washer to it. So it's scratching this and it's not letting the screw in all the way. So I think we're gonna just go ahead and get a, um, a new screw to put in this bitch. And then this heat shell gonna be in there. So we took out this sensor right there. I see the little sensor. We took it out from the original intake. Now we gotta put that bitch. We gotta try to fit it yes, through this, but you gotta make sure that you don't break that plastic. Cause it's super hard to find these sensors. And I think that lucky might be expensive too. But that bitch don't wanna fit in this metal, so we might have to cut some of that rubber to try to make it fit. Alright, All right, so we Finally got this screwed in, and we got this metal piece that come with it. They give you a rubber piece to try to connect to the actual, the, the, the throttle body, you feel me? So, we gotta connect this rubber piece to this steel piece. With this, we're gonna attach that bitch onto the throttle body. And then this is where the actual, the actual um, air filter is gonna go right here. And then it's gonna connect to that little, that piece. We already got the air sensor already put in. That bitch was a, it was a bitch to get in, but if y'all gonna do it, make sure that y'all real gentle because y'all don't want to crack it. I think the bitch is expensive and hard to find, so make sure y'all don't fuck that shit up. But, all right, so the the rubber on this on this actual that comes with the air intake, it's a little bit too tight to fit on the uh, throttle body. So he said he had to get the little blowtorch. Heat it up, heat it up, and try to make that rubber a little bit more flexible so that we can fit it on this actual metal right here. And then we got another clip, that little metal clip y'all see right there. We got another clip that we're gonna do and we're gonna screw that bitch on there just like that. And then once we get that, we gotta put on this rubber tube in, and we got another clip for that too. Everything, everything that you're gonna need gonna come with it actual box this is a rough country air intake so we just showing y'all the process and what comes with it yeah it's this bottom piece right here okay. 
when it comes to shit like this, bro, you try to use like uh, flatheads and shit. Mm -hmm. Try to wiggle that bitch on there. I'm gonna put this camera down so I can help this nigga. I get it. Got it. So while while he working on that, I'm gonna get this rubber tube in. This rubber tubing right here. Get this clip, loosen it up with this fly head. Put it on like this. back on there, just like that. That. Screw that bitch in just like that. And now what? We gotta put yeah, the sensor. Wait, did the sensor connect already? Yeah, I connected already. So the sensor connected under here. Uh, this connects here. This rubber tube connects on the side. You tighten that up with this clip. And then the last step is putting the actual air filter. On All right, so another step. Uh, hey, bro, the air intake man. comes with uh, yeah. these little latches to hold this rubber tube in, yeah. in place. Yeah. Um, so yeah. usually, usually it's a little, it's like these little plastic clips that hold them in place. But um, I don't think I had it. I forgot what the fuck I had to actually hold these, to hold this tube in place. But uh, it comes with these little uh, latches. I think you call them, and then you latch them, screw them in there with a drill. And then that shit don't move. And there we got the clip. That bitch is enough. Now that's how it's going to look. It's like that. That shit clean though. I don't even lie. That shit kind of clean. I mean, you can talk. All right, so see, we got all this screwed in. We have to put this little bolt down here. We have to re-screw this in there. All the tubes are connected. Make sure all the tubes are connected. Make sure your sensor is connected. That's under there. Yeah, you can see that bitch right there. There's a little sensor right there. Make sure that that's screwed in. Make sure it's all tight with the rubber. Now all we got to do is slide this on like a, like a new condom. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Turn that up. Make sure that bitch is not tight. Put the ball up. Let it slide in. Now I seen some other ones. I forgot what brand it was, but it came with. Uh, it, it was for the uh, the 2018 through 2022 Jeep Wranglers, and it, like the um, this tube was a little bit longer, and it came back all the way through here. The intake, the uh, air filter was a little bit smaller, but it came with a little box, 
and then on top of the box was like this little yeah, I only glass get, case. I only get one. Yeah, with the little glass case on top to like keep all the dust and shit from your um, air filter. But the question is, do it suck more? Is it gonna suck the more same air. amount of air? Yeah. Because of that little plastic, that shit resisting a little bit. Nah. Turn it on. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure you got everything on. Everything on. Filter the sensor of this. Filter already right, turning on. Yeah. Yeah. I now turn it off. You heard that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a pro. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do that shit. Simple, not too hard, not too strenuous. Just make sure you don't break nothing in the process. It's just like that. Yeah. Yeah.